Shenzi, Banzai, and Ed. Shenzi and Banzai, and Ed. More Lion King content means more Shenzi and Banzai, and Ed. <laughs> about the hyenas guys you just can't get enough of more shenzi and bonsai net content will ya but anyways um we're gonna be focusing on the trio again shenzi and bonsai net the only hyena that we're gonna be focusing on is ed in the title of this video so i have um a theory that could possibly be possible if ed does know something about john joe and here's why does he know the future of Janja? Does Ed really know the future of his nephew? Hmm. So let's talk about that. So, you may think Ed could probably be a dumb, um, a dumb, goofy, silly hyena. That he might be silly and stupid. But hey, I know something as well. Ed has a brain. You may think he's dumb. You may think he's goofy. But he has a brain. He knows something because he might be smart. Because as you can realize it in The Lion King 1, he communicates with Shenzi and Banzai that, that he knows that Simba and Nala are on the loose and they're running away. That's how I know that he has a brain. He is smart like other types of hyenas. But the, is he smart enough to know the future of his son, Cheesy, and his nephew, Janja? Does Ed really know the future of Cheesy and Janja? Well, I think he does. Because if I could realize it in my theories of A Lion Guard Season 4, um, maybe we'll see Shenzi and Banzai and Ed now at this place that they're um, struggling to find more food and water. And Ed has a dream, or maybe he just has a dream about something or he's dreaming about something, or he realizes something, that he realizes or dreams about the future. He knows for a fact that Sira is gone and Janja is alive. Ed could probably know that that Sira's fate has has been gone away from, from the circle of life. Sira is dead. She is nowhere to be seen anymore. And he knows that Janja is alive and he goes to tell Shenzi and Banzai and tries to communicate with them and tries to tell them that, that their kids are alive and that they need to go back to to, to uh, the Outlands or the Pride Lands to go find them. Maybe that's my theory, but what do you guys think? I could really know for a fact that Ed knows the future of Janja. Maybe he knows that Janja is fully grown up. Again, really? This is the second video I have to make about this light going off. But yes, guys, I really think and I can tell that Ed knows the future of Janja. I think that he knows that his nephew is alive and living a happy life with um, his new mate, Jaziri. And um, he probably knows his future about Cheesy, his son, that he probably is still alive. But he would try to tell um, Bonsai and Shenzi that their children are alive. Um, what if Shenzi and Bonsai doesn't believe Ed? What, what if they don't believe him that their children are alive anymore because they left them? Because Ed, he knows the future. He knows that Sierra is gone and that they don't need to worry about her anymore. And they can go back and live a happy life in the Outlands, in the Pride Lands again. And uh, we'll see them just have a full family, hyena family reunion together of Janja reunite with his parents again and Cheesy reunite with his father Ed. 
But yeah, guys, that's all I want to talk about for today's video. I just want to talk about these hyenas again because um, nowadays I I really don't like the live action remakes for what they are. I I'm I'm just gonna stick to the to the original movies instead. I really don't like remakes anymore for Disney, and it's just it's just very terrible nowadays. I just when I see people online, they don't like all these remakes anymore, and, and I can see where the, where the people who are coming from, they don't want these remakes anymore, they want the animation instead, they don't want the same story to be told over and over and over again, just, just make it, make, make a, a real story, Disney, we don't want the same story to be told over and over and over, over again, just, just stop with the live action stuff, make a real story that makes sense, or go back to the Lion Guard or make a Shenzi and Banzai Net. I just really don't know, guys. I just really don't want any more live action remakes anymore. I don't want, like, um, a remake version of Shenzi anymore. And I don't want that type of style for Shenzi. I don't want that 2019 Shenzi anymore. I don't want to see that anymore. I don't want to see live action Shenzi anymore. Don't give me that one. I want. The original one. I want 1994 Shenzi. I want the goofy one. I want the funny Shenzi. I don't want dark humor Shenzi. I want funny Shenzi. I want the goofy one. I want the Whoopi Goldberg one. That's the one that I grow up with. That's the one that I love. That's the one that I cared about. That's the Shenzi that I love. That's the Shenzi that I used to know. That's the Shenzi that I know. I don't want 2019 Shenzi. I want Whoopi Goldberg Shenzi. Just give me that one instead. Just no more live action remakes anymore, Disney. Just, just enough with the live action remakes. Just make an original stories. I'm just being honest. The remakes are just not good. The original movies are just good. They're just better than the remakes. Just no more live action remakes anymore, Disney. But all right, guys. Thanks for watching the Kill Cal 178 show. If you guys liked it, be sure to like, comment, and also subscribe and share this video with your friends. And um, yeah. That's it. But all right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Have an amazing day, everyone.